Hi, today I'd like to talk a little bit about adaptability. What are the adapt adaptations adaptations um, that you've possibly had to make as a result of living with chronic illness? Now, I, as a lot of you already know, I live with mul multiple sclerosis and I've had to make adaptations in my life in order to continue doing some of the things that I want to do and some of the things which are important to me and are a big part of my life. I'm going to I'm going to talk about one example and that's the example of exercise. Now I've always been very sporty ever since I was a kid I was always doing all sorts of sports uh, but hockey was always my main sport. I played hockey since I was yeah since I was really young basically and it's always been something which has been a huge part of my life. When I was at school, for example, I was playing hockey seven days a week. Uh, that's how big a part of my life it, it has been. When I was diagnosed with MS, I was training twice a week and I was often playing, you know, sometimes two games in a weekend. But as the years went on, this became more of a more of a struggle, particularly with my fatigue. And so gradually I had to decrease the number of training sessions I did. And eventually, after um, a number of years, I had reduced it down to just playing one match in a weekend. Now, two years ago, uh, it's around two years ago, I decided that it now had come the time to, to give up playing competitively and on a regular basis because it was becoming, it was just becoming too much for me. It was taking my body longer and longer in order to recover from games and it was just, it was wiping me out. So I thought, well, I needed to find other things and I clearly remember having a conversation with a clinical psychologist actually I'd met her at a at an event that I was attending it was an MS research day and she had said to me Trishna you know I know hockey is a huge part of your life but you also need to be practical and think about what happens if you were to relapse and you weren't able to play hockey is there other things that you enjoy doing which could be potentially be more adaptable and you could still do even if your if your MS becomes worse and your health deteriorates. And I found Zumba. Now Zumba is great because unlike hockey it's not a team thing so there's nobody relying on me in order you know for me to be constantly performing at a high level. I'm able to go at my own pace so even on days when um, you know I'm not I'm not at my best, I'm still able to go, but I might take things a little bit easier. I can also adapt things. So you know on days when I'm really fatigued, I could do zumba from a seated position, and if my MS was to worsen, and I, you know, for example, have a relapse and my mobility is affected, I could do zumba from a wheelchair. So I found something which, even if my MS was to get worse, there are things that I could adapt and, you know, still, you know, and make changes, but still be able to do something that I love. And I think that's really important because everybody needs to be able to do things that they love. I mean, you know, that's what, you know, otherwise, you know, be pretty miserable really um, and so what I'd like to know is what are the kinds of things where you've made adaptations where you've still been able to do some of the things that you love and also what kinds of things do you guys enjoy doing what are the kinds of things which you might have discovered that you've in, you know something new as a result of having been diagnosed and maybe being forced into finding something different to do and you've suddenly realized wow, you know, how did I never discover this before? This is fantastic and I really enjoy it. Um, yeah, so I'd really like to hear what all of you guys think um, because by sharing experiences, you never know. You might read somebody's comment and think, oh, you know what, I might try that as well. 
So um, yeah, this will be a really great forum and a really great place in order to share experiences um, and swap ideas. Please do share this video. Um, I will be uploading up, uh, uploading it to YouTube and Facebook as usual, and there might be clips that go on Twitter and Instagram. But in case you don't have my social media details, here we go. So Twitter, at Trishna Baradia. Instagram, at Trishna Baradia. Facebook, www.facebook.com forward slash Trishna Baradia 2015. And finally, YouTube. YouTube, if you put my name into the search box, then my channel will come up. And on my channel, you've got lots of different videos that I've uploaded. You've got playlists as well, which are all categorised. And um, yeah, you'll be able to find everything there. Please be respectful of everyone's opinions. Please be constructive, um, as always. And I'm really looking forward to hearing all your comments. And you never know, I might discover something new and, you know, completely fall in love with it. In which case, I will have to do another vlog talking about this thing that I really love. Bye.